Kuzampola to all the listeners across the country. This is Kileongmo from Samtegang Primary School. This radio program is to reach to all the children across the nation. It's a math lesson for class 1 on the topic addition and subtraction. Children, before we start our lesson, you need to get ready with the blue book named Self-Instructional Material. You need a pencil and eraser. Are you all ready with your things? All right then, let's begin. Please listen to me carefully. Today we will learn how to add and how to subtract. So before we do the activity, let's look at what addition means. Addition means put together or join together. Can you see a sign in the bracket? A short line with another short straight line in the middle. That's how we write plus. Did you get me? A short straight line with another short straight line in the middle. That's how we write plus. We have to always use plus sign when we add numbers. Is that clear? Okay, so let's say I have one pencil and my friend gave me one more pencil. Now I have two pencils, isn't it? So I added the pencil that I have and the pencil I got. So one plus one is equal to two. The answer in the addition is called sum. Now let's look at activity one. Can you see activity one? Okay, so we are going to do addition for activity one. Please look at the example given. There are two black circles in the first set. Did you see it? Add two more black circles in the second set. Now, how many circles are there in all together? Can you count it? Okay, let's count together. One, two, three, four. So there are four circles all together. So the addition sentence is two plus two is equal to four. When I add, I put the circles together. Are you clear? Okay, now my dear students, look at question A. Can you count the first set of dots? Okay, then write the number in the box given below. Well, let's count together. One, two. Write number two in the box below. Let's count the other set of dots. One, two, three. Write number three in the box given below. Now, add two and three. What can be the sum? Please write the sum in the box provided. Now look at question B. How many dots are there in first set? Six. So write number six in the box below. Count the other box. Now look at the next box of dots. Six dots. So write number six in the box below. Now you have to add 6 plus 6 and find the sum. Is that clear? Okay, now look at question C. Count the dots in the two sets and write the numbers in the boxes below. That's given in each set. Okay, now add them together and write the sum. 
to get me you have to add the numbers and then write the sum if you don't know how to do it please refer the example okay look at the example there so find the sum for question D in the same way as you did for question A, B, and C. Am I clear? Okay, let us now look at subtraction. So subtraction means taking away. To subtract the numbers, we use minus sign. So in the second sentence at the end, can you see a bracket? A short straight line from left to right. That's how we write minus. Did you get me? Okay, so look at activity 2. So activity 2 is for subtraction. Can you see an example with green linking cubes? Yes, there are two green linking cubes. One green linking cube has been taken away. Can you see it? Now, how many cubes are left? So out of two cubes, when we take away one, we are left with one linking cube, isn't it? So two minus one is equal to one. So the answer that we get after subtracting is called difference. Am I clear? Okay, then look at question A. How many cubes can you see in the first set? 4. So can you see a line drawn below the cubes? This line is for you to write the number after counting the cubes. So write number 4 in the space provided. Now, how many cubes has been taken away? 2 linking cubes. So write number 2 in the space provided. So out of 4, when we take away 2 cubes, we are left with how many cubes? Write the difference in the space provided. Okay, can you now look at question B? How many cubes can you see? Six cubes. Write number six below. Now, how many cubes were taken away? Four. So, write number four below. So, now, if we take away four cubes from six cubes, what will be the difference? Write the answer in the space below. Okay. So today we looked at how to add and subtract. Now before we close the lesson, let's look at one more activity to understand better. The self-check for learning. Can you see two questions? Okay. So look at the first question. It shows plus sign, isn't it? So when there is a plus sign, you have to add the number and find the sum. Clear? You have to add the number and find the sum. Now look at question 2. It shows minus sign. So you have to subtract the numbers and find the difference. Am I clear, my dear children? You have to subtract the numbers and find the difference. Alright, so children, this brings us to the end of today's lesson. Take care and bye-bye. Tutulu, meta, maybe, no, boo,